Hi, Primary 4. Uh, our lesson today will be about reviewing what we have studied before about the fraction. Okay, at first, let's remember what is the fraction. Okay, here, if I have a cake and I take a piece of it, this piece is called the fraction. This piece is called a fraction. Okay, how I can write the fraction? When I write the fraction, this is the slash and there is a number up and this is a number down. The number which is up is called the numerator. It's called the numerator. The numerator is the number of the part that I have, okay? And the number which is down is called the denominator. And the denominator represents the number of the whole part, the number of the whole parts. If I want to read this fraction, it will be 3 over 5, 3 over 5, okay, let's see the next page, complete the following, at first, the first one, 1 over 3, the number which is up here represents the number of the shaded part, and the number which is down represents the total part. Here I have only one shaded part, it will be 1, and all parts is what? 3. Then it will be 1 over 3. 1 over 3 equals what? Let's see the next shape. How many shaded parts here I have? I have 3 shaded parts. 1, 2, 3. So we write 3 up. And down, I will write the number of all parts. Let's count how many parts here I have. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So it will be 9. 3 over 9 equal to 1 over 3. It's equivalent to each other. Equal to each other. The next one. 1 over 2, half. And we said that 1 represents the shaded part. 2 represents the number of all parts. Equal. Let's see the next shape. How many shaded parts I have? 1, 2, 3, 4. So I write 4 up. And down, how many parts? All the parts here. Let's count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So it will be 8. Then 1 over 2 it is the same or equal to 4 over 8. The next shape, 4 over 8, 4 represents the shaded part or the colored part, and 8 represents the number of all parts. Equal, here I have how many colored or shaded part? 2, so I write 2 up. How many parts here, all the parts? Let's count, 1, 2, 3, 4, so I will write 4, then it will be 2 over 4. The next one, here. Here, how many shaded parts? If we count here, it will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So I will write 8. And also the number of all parts here is what? 8. And here, how many shaded parts? As you see, it's 4. And all parts is what? 4. Okay? Okay, the next one I have here. If you see here, 1 over 4, which one for this? It will be the same for this. I have here 1 shaded port or colored port, and all ports is what? 4. So it will be 1 over 4. Here, if we see how many shaded ports I have, 1, 2, 3, 4. So I will write 4 up. I will write 4 up. And the number of all ports, I have here 4, then 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So it will be 16. 4 over 16. Okay, let's see the next page. Okay, I want here to complete. At first, any number divided by itself or any number over itself, it gives me 1. As if I say 2 over 2, 3 over 3, 4 over 4, 5 over 5, and so on. So here 1, it will be 3 over, excellent, 3. And here, I want to hear what it will be up. I have down 5, so up it will be 5. Here 8, it will be over, excellent, 8. And here I have 10, so up it will be 10. So it will be 10 over 10. If here I want to have 3 over 4 plus what gives me 1? I want 1. 
if I look here, the denominator here is what? 4. So I want a fraction to be 4 over 4 to give me 1. So at first here, the denominator here, it will be 4. So I will write down 4. Then 3 plus what gives me 4? Excellent. 3 plus 1. So I will write up 1. Then 3 plus 1 equal 4 and the denominator down it will be the same then 4 over 4 it will give me 1 the next one 5 over 7 minus 2 over 7 at first I have down here the same denominator it mean I have here 7 and I have here 7 also the answer will be fraction and the de denominator will be also 7 then I will go up 5 minus 2 then 5 minus 2, it will give me 3. It will be 3 over 7. Okay? The next one, 3 over 4 equals what over 8? Let's see. 4 becomes 8. So, it be, it be a big number or a large number. Then, I make multiply. I make what multiply? To make 4 big to 4 to be 8, I make multiply. Then, 4 multiply what gives me 8? Excellent, 4 multiply 2. Then, as I do down, I will do up. If I make down multiply, I will make up multiply. If I make down divide, I will make up divide. By the same number, then I here make 4 multiply 2 equals 8. Then, I will make also 3 multiply 2. 3 multiply 2 equals what? Excellent, 6. Then, I will write here 6. Okay, the next one. 1 minus 1 over 3. To make minus, I wanted to make 1 a fraction. Okay? We said before that 1 equals any number over itself. It gives me 1. Then, what shall I do? I will look to the second fraction. What is the denominator here? It's a 3. It's a 3. So, 1 will be 3 over 3. 3 over 3. At first, I look to the denominator of the second fraction. Okay, here's 3, then I will write up 3. I want to have 1, then what over 3 gives me 1? Excellent, it will be 3. 3 over 3 minus, I will write the second fraction as it. 1 and down 3. Then, I have down the same denominator, it will be 3 and here 3. Also, the answer here, it will be 3. Then, 3 minus 1, it will give me, excellent, 2. The last one here, 3 over 5 plus 2 over 5. At first, look to the denominator. I have here 5 and I have here 5. Also, the answer will be also here the denominator, 5. Then, 3, I have here plus 3 plus 2. Excellent, it will be 5. And we said that any number over itself, it will give me 1. It will give me 1. Let's see the next page. Complete the following using greater than, smaller than, or equal to. At first, I have here 1 over 2, and I have here 1 over 5. If I asked you, what is the same here between the two fractions? The numerator is the same, or the denominator is the same? Excellent. The numerator up is the same. Then, when I, when I want to know which is greater, when I have the numerator is the same, down. I will look to down. The small... The small number will be big and the big will be small. Then I have here 2 and I have here 5. So 1 over 2 is greater than 1 over 5. Okay, the next one. I have here 1 and I have here 3 over 11. To make this, I want to make 1 as a fraction. We said that any number over itself, it gives me 1. But what is the number I will write to be over itself? I will look to the next fraction. The denominator down here is 11. So I will make 1, 11 over 11. 11 over 11. Then let's look here. What is the same? The numerator is the same or the denominator is the same? Excellent. The denominator here is the same. 11 and 11. So I will make it easy. I will look up 11 and here 3. Which is greater, 11 or 3? Excellent. It will be 11. It will be 11. Then 11 over 11 is greater than 3 over 11. The next one. 
1 over 6 and here 1 over 4. Let's look which is the same, the numerator or the denominator? Excellent, the numerator, it will be 1. Then down, the denominator, I have here 6 and I have here 4. We said that when, the, when up is the same, I will look down. The small will be big and the big will be small. Then here, 1 over 4 will be greater than 1 over 6. The next one. Also, I have here 8 over 25 and I have here 8 over 13. Then the numerator up is the same. Then down I will see which is greater. 13 will be greater than 25. Then 8 over 13 will be greater than 8 over 25. The next one. 4 over 7 and I have here 3 over 7. I have here the denominator is the same, then I will look up which is greater, 4 or 3, excellent will be 4, then 4 over 7 will be greater than 3 over 7. The last one, I have here 6 over 6, and I have here 1, as I see any number over itself, it's equal 1, then here it will be equal. Thank you for you, primary 4.